The successful strike by the Ukrainian army on the oil depot in Russia-occupied Feodosia, Crimea, is important not just for disrupting the enemy's logistics. This facility was the biggest oil terminal on the peninsula and had been a key supplier for the Russian army. As reported by Defense Express, this attack reveals the ineffectiveness of Russia's air defense systems. According to the publication, Ukrainian strikes on Russian oil depots, refineries, air bases and military warehouses deep in Russia reveal a clear pattern. The deeper into Russia, the weaker the air defense. However, Feodosia and occupied Crimea are known for their high concentration of military and strategic facilities which have always been heavily guarded. Just on the outskirts of Feodosia, a unit of 18 Air Defense Regiment of Russia armed, a unit of the 18th Air Defense Regiment of Russia armed with S-400 systems was stationed. The oil depot hit by Ukraine was only 6 kilometers away. As of April 2023, the 18th Air Defense Regiment was still there as their operations were recorded during a strike. This was likely carried out by a separate radar unit, Military Unit 66571, which had the Nebo U-T radar deployed. However, this time the key issue is not just that this Russian surface-to-air missile system failed to perform its duty. Local residents reportedly did not hear any Russian air defense activity at all. This raises two possibilities. Either there are no SAMs in the Feodosia area, indicating that Russia lacks air defense systems, or the Russian anti-aircraft units simply missed the attack. However, the main point now is that the enemy lacks a key facility for fueling its military operations. Defense Express adds, Retired Colonel of the Ukrainian Armed Forces Pilot Instructor Roman Svitan says that the attack on the oil terminal in Feodosia and the explosions in the area of the Saki airfield in the temporarily occupied Crimea are extremely important in the context of Russia's war against Ukraine. He noted that there are two oil terminals in Crimea, in Feodosia and Sevastopol. At the same time, Feodosia Bay is considered ice-free, so an oil terminal was deployed there at one time to supply the peninsula with oil and its refined products. So that was one of the main goals. According to the expert, the strike on the terminal in Feodosia is a necessary measure since there is no other way to reduce the flow of oil products in Crimea. At the same time, it is important to destroy all Russian oil terminals, including Novorossiysk. The Israeli military released a video on Tuesday claiming to show troops operating in southern Lebanon. The army said in a statement a reserve division has begun limited operations against Hezbollah in southwestern Lebanon in an apparent widening of its ground incursion. The military said Tuesday that the 146th Division is the first reserve division to enter Lebanon since it launched ground operations just inside the border last week. The announcement came a day after the Israeli military warned residents to evacuate from over a dozen towns and villages in southwestern Lebanon, including the coastal town of Nakura, where UN peacekeepers are headquartered. Israel has called on people to evacuate several dozen communities across southern Lebanon, many of them north of a UN-declared buffer zone established after the Israel-Hezbollah war in 2006. Israel says its operations are aimed at halting a year of Hezbollah rocket attacks so that tens of thousands of its citizens can return to their homes in the north. Hezbollah has vowed to keep up the attacks until there is a ceasefire in Gaza.
the Israeli military began what it called a limited, localized operation against Hezbollah targets in southern Lebanon on Tuesday, carrying out targeted ground raids in villages close to the Israeli border. The targets, it said, pose an immediate threat to Israeli communities in northern Israel. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu issued a warning Monday to Iran, which backs Hezbollah and Hamas. There is nowhere in the Middle East Israel cannot reach, Netanyahu said, just days after an airstrike south of Beirut killed the leader of the Lebanese Hezbollah group, which is backed by Tehran. Hezbollah's acting leader, Naim Qasim, promised the group will fight on following the death Friday of its longtime chief Hassan Nasrallah. Israel has also assassinated several of the group's top commanders in recent days. Qasim said the group's fighters are ready and the slain commanders have already been replaced.